So now let's understand how layer naming and hierarchy works in Illustrator. So over here, there's Chloe and there's Chad right here. So let us open up the Illustrator version of Chad just like this. So if you followed up my previous lesson, you already know how layer hierarchy is in Photoshop. So similar thing happens in Illustrator as well. So I'm just going to right click and click on edit original. And what happens is that Illustrator files open up just like that because uh, this file has been made in Illustrator. And the benefit of working in Illustrator is that everything is saved out in vector, meaning it is not pixelated even if you zoom in very much. So let's see the layer hierarchy for this one. So for that, I'm just going to click on the layer right here. You can see that Chad plus is the main uh, group of the character right here. That's the head right over here, just like that. And instead of uh, folders, there's now subgroups, as you can see. And there are separate eyebrows right over here. And all of the bright eyebrows are here as well. So you can go around and see the hierarchy just like this. So that's plus mouth and plus. Plus is how you define something so that it is automatically rigged out in character animator. So over here, you got right eye, you got left eye, you got face, background, and so forth, and everything. So if you were to go on to face background right here and change something out, let's say, for example, you want to change out the color and then you just save it out. What happens is that it'll just uh, get saved out right here. So once you close it out, what happens is that the update is there just like that. Same goes for uh, another characters as well. So let me just go over here and bring in this character right here, the ninja character, which is an illustrator file. So uh, the ninja character, if you remember from previous lesson, has walk behavior as well. And let's see how that is uh, actually made in Illustrator. So let, let me just go on to the ninja right here, right click, edit original, just like this, and it'll open up the file in Illustrator. So let's see how the hierarchy is maintained for this character right here and the naming right here. So you can see that this is the left quarter, right quarter, a right profile and left profile. So you got the character in all of the profile right here. And if I were to enable only one of them, you can see that this is how it actually works out right here. So this is the right quarter right here, right profile right here, left profile right here. And this is the frontal with both of the head turnings around. So on the left and right profile, you can see that there's only the body of the character just like that. And now let's see the arrangement of the layer. So once you go on to the layer right over here, there's left arm, there's punch, there's left leg right over here, just like that. All of these are separately combined just like that, as you can see. So all of these right here, not all the poses are uh, recorded, but all of them, the profiles are in separate groups. As you can see right here, you can work around with the path for each of the layers right over here. So let me just go around. Left arm is here. There's left arm, the left leg right over there. And there's torso right over here, just like this. And then if you were to go over here, there's right leg right here. And there's right arm right here again. And there's neck right over here, just like that. There's the right quarter, right profile right here just like that. And the hierarchy is the same for all of them right here. So what it enables you to do is uh, rig it out in a different section. So if I were to go over here, do this, just like this, you can just rig them out right here in character animator so that you can start animating the walk cycles from all of the angles just like that, except for the head that is just in the frontal right here. And the head is in different terms. So you can see that this is the frontal head right here, just like this. So you have the head, let me just turn that on, right? So frontal, just like that. And then you can turn on the head and on the head, you can see that there's different sort of heads right here. So there's the frontal head right here. There's the turn head right there. There's the, uh, let's say for example, there's left quarter right here, just like that. So you can enable and disable all of them out and see everything out just like that. So all the head shapes are there and within all of the head shapes, you can see that there's different sort of jaws right here, nose and mouth, ears, right eyebrow, left eyebrow, and so forth. So all of these layers are here. So you can be as much, de as, as much detailed as you want with the sub layers and the level of control you want while animating characters. Of course, it'll take a long time to design before you even start animating your characters 
but it is worth it because at the end you can just drag it out and then animate the character however you want it. And that is how the layer naming convention inside of Illustrator works and hierarchy works inside of Illustrator for uh, bringing in the puppets in Character Animator. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.